Okay, we have a pretty ridiculous looking integral. We've got the integral of e to the x times e to the e to the x times e to the 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 x times e to the e to the e to the x dx. Okay, the reason I thought this was kind of interesting is we had somewhat of a similar integral a few days back where it was it was a lot like where the integral we had was a lot like just this. I think it maybe was from the MIT, I think it was from the MIT integration B, except we had a three on the x here. And for that other case, most people prefer to do a substitution just for e to the x and kind of keep it simple. But my thinking here is if we do the u substitution just for e to the x, it's kind of tedious because then we have to do multiple substitutions. Because then that first substitution is only going to simplify it a little bit. Then we're going to need to do another substitution and another and another. So what I'm proposing instead is let's go all the way to the right side and let's just substitute for this whole thing right here and see what happens. So we'll go ahead and we'll make this our u. So we'll say u equal to e to the e to the e to the e to the x, and then I'll take a derivative, but I'm gonna give myself some space. How much space do I need? Let's come all the way here for this. So when we take the derivative of this, first we just get the whole expression back. Then we're gonna need the chain rule, which means we need to take the derivative of all this, and that's gonna be just e to the e to the e to the x. And then we do it again with the chain rule, and we need the derivative of this, and it's gonna be e to the e to the x. And then again, the derivative of this is gonna be just e to the x dx. But the nice thing about that is everything we have right here, this is actually the whole entire integral. So everything just becomes du. So just rewriting this, we'll just have the integral of du. I can write this like one du, but then integrating this, that's just gonna give me u. So we just back substitute in order to finish it off. So for my final solution this, we get just e to the e to the e to the e to the x plus c, and that's it. Okay, so there you have it. Just kind of a crazy problem, but a very simple u substitution, and we go right to our solution. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.